So okay guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to modify a PS4 running 6.72 firmware. Now with that said, this exploit is known as the 50-50 exploit. It will either succeed first go, or you'll have to restart your console and hit jailbreak again in order to get the jailbreak to work. Another thing to note, this is also known as a semi-tethered jailbreak, meaning after every restart of your console, you'll have to re-jailbreak it again if you wish to use mods, homebrew, or any kind of jailbroken application or game. But yeah, as it stands right now, we're going to be using the Al As If mod. It's one of the first ones to have came out, and it's a little bit stable, not as stable as many of the other ones out there. However, many of the other exploits out there, they all pretty much use the same 50-50 exploit, so in the end it will either work or it won't, and you'll have to restart and try again. I just chose this mod just because there are a variety of different offline options available, and it's easily set up through the DNS settings, which I really enjoy. But yeah, like I said, it's super easy to set up and to well, get this all running and on your PS4, all you gotta do is go under the settings page. And I recommend turning off any kind of software updates or firmware update settings in the settings page before we go and connect to the internet. However, if you don't want to do that, don't worry because the mod package or the payload launcher itself has an option to disable all updates for us automatically. But what we want to do is go to Network Setup and set up a new wireless connection or LAN connection depending on what you're using, and you want to hit Custom. Now the reason why we want to hit Custom is it will give us access to changing the DNS settings. Now from here you could pretty much follow every picture on screen if you want to replicate exactly what I did, but you just want to hit uh, automatic for pretty much everything up until you get to the DNS settings page, and then you want to hit custom on that. But yeah, when you get to filling in the DNS settings, you want to put the numbers in that I will have on screen into that field. Just keep in mind that this DNS server is not hosted by me, so these DNS numbers may change over time. So if you put the numbers in and the mods don't come up later on when we get to it, that well, your DNS is most likely the problem. So what I suggest doing before you typing in the DNS here, you want to go to the GitHub page and just verify that the DNS numbers are the same. Anyway, once we type in the DNS um, settings, or the numbers I should say, we could just complete the wireless connection setup. Now from here, if we go back under settings, you can navigate to the, what is it, help guide? Yeah, you navigate to the user guide slash helpful info setting, click on that, then click on user guide again, and this will open up the web browser, but since we did a DNS um, change, instead of the normal user guide coming up in the web browser, we're sent to Alazef's um, payload executor instead. Now this is one of the reasons why I like the DNS setting change in terms of setting up this mod. It's a little bit easier to set up, and in the end you just have to click on user guide every time to get to the menu, instead of having to go and open up your web browser to get to the menu. However, if you want to get to the same menu page in your web browser, all you gotta do is open up your web browser, and it should be the default home page as well. No matter how you get to the user guide page, just click user guide and it should bring up a category selection page and it will say exploit host by Alazef. If you're seeing this in the anime waifu in the corner, that means you did everything correctly. Now from here, you can click on PS4 6.72. This will open up a new exploit selection and in here we should have options like Mira, Mira Unofficial, Disable Updates, and Cache All. Anyway, these are the three settings we're going to be messing with today, but before we run any kind of execution or any kind of payload at all on this page, I recommend hitting cache all. That way you have the mods all downloaded to your PS4's internal web browser memory. Now what this means is when we disconnect from the Wi-Fi later, you'll still have the mods available and you will, you will be able to exploit your PS4 again through this menu without having to connect up to the internet, which is nice. Anyway, once the system caches in all the memory or all the payloads, I should say, you can now navigate back to the exploit selection page and click on Mira. Now, this is a 50-50 exploit, like I said, so it may work first go. You may get an exploit fail, and it will tell you to restart your console if it does, or you'll get an out-of-memory message. If you get an out-of-memory message, just click OK, and in the end it will most likely succeed and your console will still be jailbroken. 
you get this message just due to the web browser running out of memory, so you could try to clear out your web browser's memory before caching in all the files if you're getting that message a lot. But yeah, with that said, if you get a jailbreak success after clicking on Mira, that is it. Your console is modded. You can go under settings and you'll have a new option called debug settings. But before we go and mess with that, how about we completely disable the updates first? So navigate back under the PS4 selection page, go to PS4 6.72, and click on Disable Updates. This button is located exactly where you clicked on Mira, if you guys are wondering where to find it. Anyway, once you click on Disable Updates, the updates should be completely turned off, and you'll never have to worry about them again. But yeah guys, that's basically it. We got our PS4 modded. If we go under Settings, go under Debug Settings, you'll notice you'll have a game option, and in there you can import and um, uh, install add-ons, packages, homebrew, that kind of stuff. But yeah, for now I'm going to leave this video off here, but there will be a part 2 where I show you guys how to install PS2 games, Retro Arch, and just a variety of different homebrew stuff that you guys may want on your PS4. But for the time being, I'm going to leave this off here, DTPK signing off, peace. Is once you're done printing, it, it will your prints will just pop off right afterwards once the build platform cools off. So to actually weight paint, we want to go back over here in the Avastar tab, make sure you're...